On December 21, 1964, gunsmith Horace Burns drove his 1958 Mercury station wagon east on Route 250 near Fishersville, Virginia. He saw a huge metallic object fly over from the north. It crossed Route 250 about one quarter mile west of the Woodrow Wilson Rehab Center and landed in a field to his right. Just as his car cut off and he drifted to a stop. Burns described the object as 125 feet in diameter and 80 to 90 feet tall. It was shaped like a beehive with no visible portholes, wings, or seams. He watched as it rested for 60 to 90 seconds, then rose up, tilted, and flew northeast. Shaken, he restarted his car and drove home. After telling his wife of the encounter, Burns contacted an extraterrestrial club at Eastern Mennonite College. On December 30th, German professor and UFO investigators club president Ernest Gaiman drove to the landing area. Using a school Geiger counter, he claimed to find heavy radioactivity at the landing spot. Gaiman contacted Wright-Patterson Air Force's base Project Blue Book, and on January 12, 1965, Sergeants David Moody and Harold Jones arrived to investigate the UFO landing. During Burns' interview, the witness appeared normal, Moody and Jones' undated report states. He exhibited no indications of suffering from mental disorders. Frustrated, Gaiman and Burns suspected a cover-up after Moody and Jones' investigation concluded there was no UFO landing. They pointed out that Richmond Times Dispatch reporter Dallas Kersey had interviewed a Stanton boy who had seen a UFO traveling in the same area in the same time as Burns reported the landing. Gaiman also learned that around 5 p.m. on the evening of the sighting, several nearby homeowners reported to Virginia Electric and Power Company that their lights dimmed and their radios and television stopped working for several minutes. I think we need a psychiatrist here, Sergeant Jones wrote in a memo to his commanding officer. What does a person need to eat to see a traveling beehive? Within weeks, over 30 more UFOs were reported in Augusta County, Virginia. On January 20th, two boys reported a blue and green fast-moving object near Dooms. Waynesboro News Virginian employee Sam Witt reported a blinking object near Verona. A Fishersville woman told a News Virginian that she and her son watched shapeless, noiseless objects in the sky over Waynesboro for over 90 minutes. The climax of the phenomenon was a close encounter reported by General Electric Engineer William Blackburn. On January 22nd on, at 5.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Fishersville resident reported two saucers landing near him as he cut wood in an archery range near Brands Flat. He claimed three beings around three feet tall wearing shiny material debarked from the larger ship and approached within 12 yards of him. As Blackburn watched frozen in fear, he noted that they were shaped like humans with one having very long fingers. They carried no weapons and did not appear hostile. He said they uttered unintelligible sounds before returning back into their ship. I am sure I did not have a hallucination, he told the News Virginia the 30 minute encounter. I didn't used to believe in these things. This made me a believer. On January 28th, groups of shotgun toting county residents began patrolling Route 250 looking for aliens. This has gotten completely out of hand, Sheriff John Kent told the Associated Press. Anyone carrying firearms in the county without good reason will be dealt with according to the law. Despite mounting sighting, Charlottesville Leander McCormick Observatory spotted nothing unusual. Larry Frederick, chairman of the University of Virginia's astronomy department, explained that the objects could be meteors since there was some showering activity. Real meteors are hoax, the sightings stopped as quickly as they began, and by the end of February 1965, the Great Augusta County UFO scare faded away.